Hey cycling community, this is Steve Grusis, the Cycling Greek. The race I'm putting on, the OTF Hensley Lake Road Race, is now just seven weeks away. There's a lot of work to do, and I've done a lot of work. It cuts into my training time. Not only that, I just got over being sick for about half a week. This is my first day back on the bike. Now it's going to happen. We'll just watch and listen. So you've been sick, you're starting to feel better, you want to start training again, but you don't want to screw things up. The first thing you have to do is take stock of the situation and answer some questions. The first three on this list are related. Essentially, did you miss out a workout or two because of some sniffles, or were you hugging the porcelain throne, puking your guts out for a week? How old are you? A young guy will come back a lot quicker than an old guy like me. Where are you in your training? Are you in the endurance phase, in the building phase? or in the upper intensity phase. What you have to come back to plays a large part in the makeup of your comeback plan. Next, when is your goal event? Are you going to have to push the limits or can you be more reasonable in your approach? Arguably the most important question, are you truly ready to start training? Last thing you want to do is start too soon, relapse and get sick again. Take my case, I just come off of a hard training block that was made up of three and four day mini blocks. I'm coming into an active rest week right after my Sunday ride. Tuesday I'm starting to feel a little draggy and getting symptoms of a sore throat. Wednesday, Thursday and Friday I am down with a system wide cold that eventually just focuses on my head, sinuses and barely touches my lungs. Friday afternoon I'm well enough to start thinking about the group ride on Saturday. I get on the trainer for a 20 minute easy spin. The next morning rather than join the 3 hour pace line workout I sleep in a little more. I go out in the afternoon for a 90 minute continuous spinning non-stop ride. I even did a small acceleration going up a roller toward the end of the ride. On Sunday I again did a continuous spinning non-stop ride, this time for 3 hours and with a little more power. I averaged over 200 watts. While I still feel the effects of my sickness, the conservative approach in my training is paying off. I feel pretty good. What I'm not doing is chasing form. That never pays off. In fact, that's a good way to dig a hole and maybe a one-way ticket back into relapse. When is one well enough to start their comeback? There are some more questions you can ask yourself. Is your infirmity system-wide or solely based in your head, like a head cold? If it's system-wide and you're still feeling it, perhaps it's not a good idea to start just yet. If it's something like a head cold, I'd be comfortable in doing a small test workout. After that small test workout, do you feel overly drained? If you do, maybe you should not have started yet and time to back off. Lastly. How do you feel the next day? Are you still getting better? Or do you feel like you're getting sicker? What I ate when I was sick. What I didn't eat was crap. What I did eat were vegetables, fruits, rice, beans, whole grain bread, egg whites, and fish. And fish was usually sardines and salmon. And lastly, when you think you're ready to start working out again after being sick, ask yourself the right questions. Eat right. Be patient. Be conservative and don't lie to yourself. Doing all this will give you the best chance for the quickest comeback. Okay, I'm back. And I have here about uh, 25 miles in 90 minutes. And that's constant spinning. None of this spin and coast stuff. A lot of constant spinning, full circle. If you have limited time on the bike, you don't want to waste a pedal stroke. I hope you found this video helpful. Comment, like, subscribe. The Cycling Greek.